What is up guys, welcome to the channel if you're new, uh, today I'll be reacting to Odd Taxi episode 1, really excited to get into the show as I know pretty much nothing about it other than I've seen a couple of the characters from the show are all animals, uh, looks a little bit like Beastars in that respect where um, we're going to be kind of following these animals who are kind of like humans, uh, again just at the appearance of animals, uh, so it should be really awesome as I really love Beastars, that, that was one I um, kind of had uh, wrong opinions of to start off with uh, of course everyone thinks about the furries and such and I thought it was going to be that as well with Beastars and it totally wasn't, it was a very uh, very realistic storyline and one I related to a hell of a lot as well now this series has got even higher ratings than Beastars and uh, some of the highest ratings I've seen for an anime that's come out recently um, in general so I've, I've got very high hopes for it. Uh, again no idea what it's about, I think it might be about a delinquent and a taxi driver, uh, maybe he deals with some delinquents or some troubles that come into his taxi, um, again that's just a pretty much guess so uh, again really excited to get into this episode. Make sure you let me know if you guys think of this one down in the comment section, leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions, I should be reacting to an episode every Tuesday and Thursday so let's just get right into the episode. So guys, three, two, one, let's go guys. Looks like we've got the opening straight away. So is that a walrus? I'm not the best with animals. <laughs> I think that's a walrus. Hopefully it tells us. Very interesting art style, isn't it? Damn! The banger already, man! <laughs> but damn, this is very interesting, man. I mean, usually when I start a show, it kind of starts out with like an intro, but straight into the crazy ass opening, I guess. That's really awesome, though. A dead body or something. Someone's dumping something into a lake. Or maybe it's that walrus. It is kind of shaped like him. Again, he might not be a walrus, so apologies. Oh dear. The eccentric driver. It didn't seem that eccentric to me during the opening. He kind of, he kind of seemed just a little bit laid back. Normal. Privately owned taxi. <laughs> Let's go. That certainly is an interesting radio station. Yeah, it looks like it's full of animals. A giraffe. So it is. I have a feeling that we'll be seeing a lot of these characters later. What is that? Sheep? <laughs> oh 
Oh god. They've got some idols as well. Looks like Gangster Gorilla or something. Baboon. Hippo? Oh, what a cute little hippo. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a hippo. Never seen a hippo that colour. That's a shame. Guess you've got to comply. Probably especially in Japan where manners are mean more than most. Suspicious question. No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> ah, I see. Wow, we really overthought that. Oh, damn. That is pretty offensive. Yeah, why did they ask that? He's trying to go viral? Okay, interesting. I've never seen anything like this in anime so far, so I want to go viral. On Twitter. I guess they do to some people, unfortunately. I think Carol has got an interesting voice. Yeah, but I do think foreigners' perspectives on Japan in general is quite um, quite popular. Just look on my channel. My channel is mostly Japanese viewers. What does that mean then? <laughs> He's not, is he? And I, I've complimented him for it. The real guy. Yeah, probably. Is he going to make some stuff up about a taxi driver? Yeah. Oh, there's that baboon in the background. That might be um, some evidence or something later, potentially. <laughs> Pretty damn rude taxi driver, isn't he? Guess that's what happens when you ask him to turn the music off. We have friends, eh?
Yeah, what do they mean by that? What does that mean? It's been nothing but honest so far. <laughs> that is night blindness. Rush back. And he's not interested anymore. That was a nice ride, wasn't it? Quite a likable guy, this hippo thing. <laughs> Very small hat he's wearing as well, I've just noticed. Heard about that twice now. This missing girl. Of course he did. Yeah, it looks like I did then. There he is, so he spotted him as well. Looking straight at the camera. Bit scary. Awesome start though. Awesome start man. Really enjoying the kind of comedy aspect of this show. It's pretty kind of nonchalant, isn't it? Very monotone almost. <laughs> Almost very English. Can't seem to get away from this missing girl, can we? You hear? The fuck? What if that's not her? Wow, only one in the world. Pretty precious then, right? 
going to give it away. I guess that's true. Although you don't really see cassette tapes that much in movies compared to those things he mentioned. <laughs> Producer Springsteen. I think I'm drunk on the fact that these Japanese guys say I'm Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> yeah, he did already mess up. What was this appointment about? <laughs> oh, it was asleep, wasn't it? You'd get some better sleep if you got married. I actually think probably the opposite is true there. I think he's probably been struggling to sleep. Maybe he's got a crush on her, to be fair. Maybe he's struggling to sleep because he's got a um a stowaway in his cupboard. Or whoever that person is. Again, it could be the missing girl, it could be anyone. Oh well, that would have been very bad. There's not going to be anything in the car, is there? So is this the cop a dirty cop then? Two weeks. Hmm, this cop is sus, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> just that. Man, what the fuck is going on? That's a good thing. <laughs> I'd love to be able to take a day off for free. Ah. Oh, he's on some kind of dating app. Less than 3 million. Oh, I guess it is yen, isn't it? Very broad spectrum. <laughs> He just upped his wage. <laughs> It'll probably pull a lot more girls now. 
almost guaranteed to be fair actually. That went from 3 million to 20, less than 20. A bigger hospital. Oh, so we got abandoned. Group of thugs by himself. Jesus. That guy looked pretty small. Oh, wow. Fucking hell. Nah. True. Wow, <laughs> that's a privilege. I gotta say, I am loving the humor of this show, though. Someone's, someone stole a whole bunch of medicine. Six thousand pills. Ah. Oh, she's an alpaca. Uh, so much suspect shit happening. <laughs> Here's that dude. Here's the cop. Wow. Yep, so they are working together. Again, so much sus stuff happening. Got no idea. <laughs> of course, we're only in the first episode, but a lot of potential mysteries are risen, right? And again, I'm actually loving the humour. Very meta, isn't it? And again, quite English, or quite how the old English humour used to be like. There's a very uh, much difference between American humour and English humour, and again, I think this is much more on the English side of things. Don't get me wrong, I still love American humour in some aspects. Some of it's amazing. Also the same with everything, some of it's amazing, some of it's not. But um, yeah, this show definitely got me right from the first episode. And I think, yeah, we're not going to watch any of the previews uh, just because... I don't really want to spoil myself, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching a really awesome first episode. As I mentioned, the intro, very crazy. Um, I, I kind of thought this show would either be kind of very crazy or very kind of laid back, and it's a little bit of both, to be honest, isn't it? Um, some very crazy moments and uh, a very interesting storyline with the mysteries going on. Again, there's so much happening in the, in the kind of um, darkness and shadows between these characters. We, we know that this uh, 
guy with the things at his teeth again i'm not not really sure about any of these animals names um i'm going to call him a walrus although i'm not 100 percent sure he is he's got someone locked up in his cupboard cupboard they're not really locked up though and they can leave whenever they like so i'm not really sure um she's if that is the girl that is missing if she's there uh, i think she's probably there on purpose and she's probably hiding from someone maybe um that could be a, a possibility why she's there or, or he has taken her um we know that the police officer and that monkey guy is working together now but again just really loving the humor of the show and uh the mystery elements as well i love my mystery shows i really love the, the original higarashi show that came out in the 2000s just because uh that kind of mystery ho horror element i don't think this will have as much horror but uh the mystery element is definitely there and again i'm absolutely loving it uh really really down with the first episode it's already got a very high score for me uh make sure you let me know what you guys thought of this first episode down in the comment section though uh leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back in a couple days on thursday with episode two which i'm very excited for so look forward to that and enjoy the rest of your day guys.